We're in Anchorage and today is the start of the Iditarod. It's the 50th anniversary of the race and it's snowing. It's gonna be a huge day full of dog sled racing, snow, and coffee here in Anchorage. And we need to get going because it starts in about 15 minutes. My name's Laura and last time you saw me, I was in the middle of Arizona. But today I'm jumping ahead to my most recent trip to Alaska because I could not wait to show you the start of the Iditarod. But this was just one day of our trip to the 49th state. So make sure that you're subscribed to not miss any of the upcoming videos. We've cut the ribbon. Hey folks, we have another uh, guest here and I'd like to turn the uh, microphone over now to Mr. Crow. Still to come to the 50th anniversary of our dinner on veteran Hugh Neff, all the way from France, Sebastian dos Santos Portes. Anchorage will be your ceremonial starting line today, a city of over, well, well, about 264,000, maybe, give or take. From here, it's the restart in Willow tomorrow, where mushers and their teams will leave behind the land of highways and bustling activity and head out into the harsh and unforgiving Arctic tundra that is Alaska. One minute, this race pits man and animal against a brutal nature, and each mile is covered. A tribute to Alaska's incredible past, it's a commemoration of the 49th state's colorful history. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! That is the sled honoring the founder of Iditarod, Joe Reddington Sr. She's joined after I hit her out her by Susan Kelly from Pennsylvania. Today we'd like to thank our principal partners. And following yours, another one. Three, two, one, go! Everyone has a chance to blow as the tradition continues even heavier at the last great race on Earth. And Gary Keene yeah. with his wife and Jeffrey, his greatest is Cosmo Front, his machine, the winning team, the 2021 no. Press Show. We've been outside for about an hour and we're already very cold and ready for coffee. But it's so cool. It's 
We walked away at the right time. We scored Krispy Kreme donuts, hot, hot chocolate, and I did a rod posters. I also on the list today have a mission to get this hot dog, so we might just have it for breakfast. They grill hot dogs here. This is actually a reindeer sausage. I've never had reindeer. Courtney's never had reindeer, but we're gonna try it. We had a cheese. Champion Peter Kaiser from Bethel, who's born in here. Because our family has always had dogs, and I've been mushing, he would give me idea. It mostly to tastes like a smoked One sausage that you would expect, but the, the bun is super soft. It has a thick casing, so there's a pop there. They do cut it in half, so I think that cooks out some of the grease, but it's really good. <laughs> it tastes like a smoked sausage. There's a bit of spice to it, I would say. Yeah. Um, very good. I like the cheese on it as well. A little peppery and yeah. very smoky. It's good. We're starting to get cold, so we need to figure out A, where to get coffee, and then probably gonna take a break and come out after a while. short break to warm up we are back outside and we're ready <laughs> the festival surrounding the Iditarod is called the Ferrundi and they have three things we haven't checked out yet first of all the snow sculptures the carnival and this race we saw the dogs race earlier today we get to see everyone else they actually have a running of the reindeer and that's what we're here to check out this afternoon if the powdered sugar is melting because of the grease or the snow. Honestly, it's a really good funnel cake. I think she just made this one. Just a little sweet. I don't think I've ever had a funnel cake in the snow. <laughs> and just like that, they were cleaning up the roads. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming Alaska adventure.